Hello and welcome to CSC 251 Advanced Java Programming. For those of you who do not know, my name is Adam Gawita and I'll be your instructor for this course over the next semester. I do want to go over just a few things just so everyone is on the same page as we begin the semester. And so the first thing is our textbook. Uh, we are using the Liang uh, Introduction to Java Programming 10th Edition. Now a lot of you last semester uh, that I did meet uh, are still using the ninth edition. That's perfectly fine. That's not going to be the end of the world if you have the old edition. It's things are going to be in a different spot. Uh, we're going to continue to work with them every time that uh, we run into a subtle difference between the tenth edition and the ninth edition. I'll make sure to cover kind of where they are in both sides of things. There is one subtle difference, however. The ninth edition is going over something known as swing when we get into the graphic user interface portion of the course. Inside the tenth edition, Java's actually moved to something known as Java FX. So we'll actually be completely using something different. I'll make sure that everyone is on the same page and has access to the same material no matter what. One of the things that's going to be different about our class, if you have not already, make sure to install the Java JDK uh, version 8 onto your own personal computers so that you have access to that. One thing that we're going to be doing is instead of using JGRASP, which a lot of us were using last semester, we're going to be moving into using the IDE known as Eclipse. And the reason why is because Eclipse is actually sort of the de facto uh, IDE, integrated developer environment, uh, used by professionals on a daily basis. And so JGRASP, it's good for beginners. Eclipse, on the other hand, eventually you need to learn it. It does sound a little daunting, it does seem like there's going to be a lot of extra to it, but we're going to be using it because it's to get that familiarity and so we're not you know, thrown to the wolves when we get to the real world. Another thing where I recommend you guys pick up is something known as Notepad++. Notepad++ is a text editor not unlike Notepad for the Windows machine. The only difference is it includes subtle things that help a programmer out, such as syntax highlight highlighting and auto-completion, which are very nice. It is only for the Windows machine, so I do recommend if you're on a Mac to pick up something like Sublime Text or Bluefish. I include both those links on Blackboard. I recommend picking those up because one of the things we're going to be doing is when we're going through our refresher of Java, I actually don't want you to use an IDE. I want you to use a text editor. Why? Well, it's because you need to understand that material. You need to understand how to compile a program without having to use that IDE as a crutch. You know, honestly, you can think of uh, Eclipse, JGRASP, every one of those as that a little bit of a crutch. The last little bit is we are going to have two different styles of assignments this semester. We're going to be using something called lecture exercises and problem sets. Now lecture exercises, those are going to be available to you pretty much all the way to the end of the semester. So as soon as I assign them, they're going to be there and you'll be perfectly willing and perfectly able to work on those assignments until the cows come home. I don't recommend you wait until the last minute to do that, but that they are completely available. I recommend as soon as we go through a lecture, go through the lecture exercises, see if all those questions you see make sense and you can answer them. The other bit is we have problem sets. The problem sets are the application of our exercises. So if say for example we're going into uh, classes and we're talking about inheritance, you know making something with inheritance, actually applying sort of the lecture material. That's where those will come into play. Those are going to be due at the beginning of each week, so right before every lecture class in a week, uh, that's when they'll be due. You are allowed to turn them in late, however, every day that they are late, minus 10% will be deducted, well, 10% will be deducted from the grade. The last other little bit is all of your assignments are expected to compile properly. If they do not compile, as in I hit run and it crashes, you will at most only get 20% for that assignment. So make sure that you at least get them compiling if you are completely stuck. Uh, 
Other than that, my recommendation is hop on Blackboard, take a look at the getting started section. It's pretty much where you see this video. And just go through all that material. Anything that you know, rubs you the wrong way, you get confused, send me an email. And other than that, I'll see you in class. So see you then.